Burn the Floor has been a really massive part of my life. Like I, I started um, in 2008 was, was the first time that I joined Burn the Floor. And it was basically at a time when I was, I was giving up dancing because I'd, I'd lost all my enjoyment. I had no passion left for dancing. Uh, I didn't really want to compete anymore. And I just wanted to feel something again. And I got a call from Burn the Floor and they invited me out to Australia. And um, I just spent some time in, in the sort of company of these dancers who, who just absolutely blew me away and, and suddenly it changed my whole perspective on dance because dance suddenly became everything was about the feeling and narrative and storytelling and character it wasn't about competition anymore so it changed my whole mindset about where dance should be and, and what I enjoy about dancing and, and therefore I've, I've toured with them on and off for the last you know how many years now since 2008 um, because I sort of can't get enough of it really. And it's a few years now since I've done Burn the Floor, but when they asked me to do it again this year, I kind of jumped at the chance because, it, you know, I, I don't know how many more opportunities I get to experience that Burn the Floor feeling that I can't get anywhere else. Coming back into the company this year, um, it really felt like coming home. It's obviously not just on stage, but off stage, there's a lot of people that I, know, I knew from years ago. So yeah, it, it really is, I, I consider it my family and, and my home. So seeing some of the uh, old faces was amazing, but also some of the new faces as well. You know, there's a sort of younger generation of BTF dancers coming through that are incredible and they've got so much energy. And it reminds me of like when I was a newbie in the company and um, it's just great to see, like it just goes from strength to strength. Bringing it to Grimsby is really, really special because obviously Ben has been a huge part of my life. It's been years of my life and, it, and it's been a real sort of love and passion for me and um, it's never done like a proper UK tour before so the, first of all the fact that we were doing a, a, a UK tour with Burn the Floor was amazing but then to, to bring it to Grimsby to bring it here to Grimsby Auditorium um, where I've grown up dancing um, you know I used to dance here when I was about 10 years old I did competitions here I did sort of the local Clifton's Dance Academy annual shows here and all sorts um, and I've been here to see loads of shows um, so to bring the show that has basically been the love of my life, home to Grimsby Auditorium, um, is a really, really special moment for me. Well, I guess it's a big, big privilege. Um, I'm very grateful. I'm very honoured. Um, Kevin's a, a, a big star to the UK audience, so I'm absolutely delighted to be his leading lady. Burn the Floor, it's, it made me definitely who I am today as a woman and as a dancer and it, it gives me like an identity. I think sometimes in our world, all dancers become sort of similar. Um, Burn the Floor definitely give me the courage to be me. The UK tour is, is a hard one, but we change venue every night. We're, not only venue, we change, um, <laughs> we change location. There's, you know, different city, different hotels. Um, and a cast of 18 people, both musicians, vocalists and dancers. It's a lot to ask for for a big group to, to travel as one for 10 weeks, I think it's been. So um, yeah, it's definitely come with its challenges, but this group, it's so true, we are like a family. So um, we support each other when we need to support each other. We give each other space when we need space. Um, so we learn to read each other very well. Burn the Floor is where I've grown up. Burn the Floor is where I've been able to become the person I am today. I left home when I was 19 um, to go and burn the floor and I started in Bush Gardens, Florida and now I'm here traveling in the UK after just, you know, completing Dancing with the Stars and none of that, Kevin says in the show, none of his opportunities would be possible without Burn the Floor. It's the exact same for me. I, I owe everything to them. Touring the UK with Burn the Floor has been a really special experience. It's something I always dreamed about when I was a little girl. I didn't know how it would, what show it would be with or who it would be with, but it's something I always dreamed about and to be able to do it with Burn the Floor is just really special because it's a show that showcases ballroom and Latin, which is obviously what I grew up training in. So being able to do that in theatres, on stage, at home, was just amazing and the show in Birmingham, because I'm from Birmingham, was just incredible. It was like a once in a lifetime experience. Burn the Floor to me is just one word really and it's family. Um, we're all away from home 
and the feeling that you get on stage but also off the stage with your co-workers, the other dancers, the musicians and the singers is just very special. Um, and also, if I had to add to that, it's the freedom to express myself. Um, that's what Burn the Floor means to me. If I'm having a bad day, I can come and do a show and just let it all out. Or if I'm having a really great day, I can be really happy on stage and dance how I feel. So, yeah, family and freedom. As much as the show is an incredible thing and we go out every night and, and give our best, um, there's something special about this company in that we're we're a family, like, like we're a real tight group of friends that, and we really sort of look after each other and, I, and I've really felt that on this tour, the whole team has been really together, off stage and on stage um, and we've, we've all worked hard together to produce the, the best show that we can and there's something really special about that and, and I'm sort of very, very grateful to be a part of it.